got a client with $1.3 million and he needs $36,000 a year in retirement income above and beyond social security or pensions. Okay. So $36,000 above and beyond. Now, Here's the thing that for this example, we're going to take out. We're going to take out inflation. Now, if you've watched a lot of my YouTube videos, I keep inflation in there, but this is just kind of foundational planning. So this scenario helps you set a foundation for moving forward into designing inflation. So we need $36,000 a year. And for this client, what I said was, how about we take $500,000 of your 1.3 million and we put it in a bucket that is safe or secure or conservative, as conservative as we can get within the market, okay? And so we're gonna assume we're only gonna average 3% a year on this 500,000. I think that's a pretty reasonable assumption. Now, obviously the market's gonna go up and down. There is sequence of return risk, but let's just say it's gonna average 3% for the rest of your life. And if you take $36,000 off of this, again, without inflation, how long is that money gonna last? So the easy calculation, again, I'm just using my calculator. You can find this online. 500,000, we're gonna do 3% growth. We're gonna take $36,000 a year. I wanna see how long this is gonna last, and I get 17.9 years. So basically 18 years of income taking $36,000 off of 500,000, earning 3%. Because what I wanna do is I wanna run this super duper conservative. Now let's say we earn 2%. How long is that gonna last? 2% lasts 16.2 years. Okay, so two, this is 2% 2 growth. Now what I didn't tell you at the onset of this video is this person's 64. So if they're 64 years old, Let's go to 16 years, because that's 2%. So 64 plus 16, that gets them to 80, right? So this here gets this gentleman to 80 years old, okay? So we're at 80. Now, that's on $500,000. We've basically drained this bucket. And again, there's no inflation on that, because if we put inflation on that, that 80 is gonna come up, okay? But over here we got $800,000. And because we have set aside $500,000 for conservative growth, 3%, 2%, now this side can be more growth oriented. So $800,000, let's clear all the calculations, $800,000 growing at 6%. Uh, let's do this for 16 years, because that's how long before, oops, That's how long that other side's gonna last. I'm gonna have to start over because I just, I got fat fingers sometime on my, <laughs> my calculator. All right, so 6%. And at the end of 16 years, okay, earning 6%, that 800,000 grows to 2,084,000. So now we've essentially drained this 500,000 but after 16 years, this 800,000 has grown to $2 million, and that's averaging 6%. Now remember, the stock market has averaged 8% since 1957. That's It's 10% if you don't put inflation there. It's 8% with inflation. So we're going to go 2% behind that and go to 6%. That's $2 million. Now, let's, go to, let's say we just earn 4% a year. 4% a year, oops, let's go 800,000, 4%. 16 years, that actually goes to 1 million five. So this is earning 4%. So what I'm able to say now is, okay, we've drained this $500,000. Now you got 1.5. And with inflation, let's just say this is at a million dollars. So now at 80, we're gonna have a million dollars. So this is just kind of that laying that foundation for your retirement income. And it gives you a really good idea of longevity of your, I mean, the number one fear, right, is running out of retirement income. So we want to give some longevity to our retirement income. Now you can run through these scenarios. Again, just find a future value calculator online and just run through these scenarios for yourself. And that'll give you a good idea of how much you want to keep conservative versus how much you want to keep growing. And again, these buckets can change 
as you get older, if, if the market, let's say this side, this conservative side, doesn't average 3% or 2%, let's say, let's say it averages 5%, then this side's gonna last a lot longer and this side's gonna go a lot longer. But then let's say this side only averages 1%. So then this is going to be less and this is going to be less. So you just need to have those. In my practice, we look through every scenario for a client. They call it Monte Carlo scenarios. And so we want to make sure that no matter what happens, I like to use the year 2000 to 2010 when I'm designing retirement income because that's the worst decade that I can think of outside of the Great Depression. And so we use those market returns. I say, okay, after 10 years, this is what your portfolio would look like based on those market returns. 